So this question is, is making kind of just system with three equations and two variables must be inconsistent. So we're kind of asked for um, uh, whether this statement is true or not. So think of it as a true or false question. Um, when your system with three equations and two variables must be inconsistent. So we can kind of just start off conceptually. So if we have two variables, let's say these variables are x and y. So we have x and y and we have three equations. So it could be any equation in the form of y equals mx plus b. Okay, so these are kind of, it will be different variations of those equations that are given to us. And it's asking if we're given three equations and two variables, it, like is the solution always inconsistent? Because it says must be inconsistent. So here we have to define, define what inconsistent means. So to give you a, a general definition, so there's three terms that you should know, inconsistent, inconsistent. Let me just make sure the two variables that I wrote up top are on the screen. So we have x and y. Okay. And then we have dependent. And we have consistent. So these are three terms that give you kind of the relationship between um, any set of equations. So the first term, inconsistent, this refers to no solutions. So if we were to solve a set of equations, so we have no solutions. If we were to solve a set of equations and variables for the variables, we would get no solutions. When the system is dependent, we would get an infinite number of solutions. So this could be represented by two lines just overlapped on top of each other, which will give us infinite number of solutions. And when there is a consistent uh, system, that means we get one unique solution. So we have one unique solution if it's a consistent system. So. So we've given our the definitions for what each term means. And we're trying to figure out, will this scenario always give us an inconsistent solution? So we can draw a plane and think about potential possibility for a system where this may not be true. So a simple example would be, let's say we had a point here. And we have one line crossing through it. And then I'll just label this x, y. And then we had another line crossing through over here, and we had a third line crossing through it. And they all meet cross at one point. So right away we can see that we're given in this situation, in this conceptual situation, we have x and y, so we have two variables, and we have three lines. And each line is represented by an equation y equals mx plus b. So three equations, or three lines here, with two variables, so three equations, and two variables give us one unique solution based on this diagram. So this is just one example of how this statement is incorrect. So we can say right away that this statement is false. So this is just one scenario where this um, statement is not true. And an easy way to think about how to answer a true or false question like this. So looking at the solution, so you see a homogeneous system of linear equation always admits a solution for a non-homogeneous system of linear equation taking the same problem. So here, 
they provide us with three equations, uh, kind of the same uh, system that we went through, and we got a unique solution. So here, through these three equations, each represent a line, and if we substitute them into each other, we would get the same solution of a unique solution, so a dot on the xy plot that all lines pass through.